Today we're going to be looking at the short synactin test, which involves measuring serum cortisol levels to confirm a diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency. To fully understand the short synactin test, it's important to review the hypothalamus pituitary adrenals axis first. We start off with the hypothalamus, which secretes a substance known as CRH, or corticotropin releasing hormone, which acts on the anterior pituitary gland to trigger the release of ACTH. This ACTH then acts on the adrenal glands to stimulate the production of three key hormones, aldosterone and other mineralocorticoids, cortisol and other glucocorticoids, and androgens or sex hormones. And this entire process is governed by a negative feedback loop. So as the levels of these hormones increase, it should feed back on the anterior pituitary gland and the hypothalamus to reduce production of the hormones. And this helps to keep the whole system in check. The entire purpose of the short synactin test is to diagnose and find a cause behind adrenal insufficiency, which is a condition which involves reduced levels of adrenal hormones in the blood. And broadly speaking, this can be divided into primary adrenal insufficiency, where there's a problem directly with the adrenal glands themselves, or secondary adrenal insufficiency, where there's a problem with the anterior pituitary gland. Now there can be other causes as well, such as genetic factors or withdrawal of steroid usage, but I'm mainly going to be focusing on these two causes in this video. So starting with primary causes, there can be autoimmune conditions, infections such as tuberculosis or HIV, or adrenal tumors. And just to illustrate how this process works, we have the layers of the adrenal gland here, and there can be autoimmune complexes or infections, which basically damage the layers of the adrenal glands resulting in destruction over time. And note that the topmost layers are affected first, so there's reduced levels of aldosterone and cortisol in the blood as a result. Turning towards secondary causes, in this case there's a problem with the anterior pituitary gland, such as a pituitary tumour or Sheehan syndrome, which is a condition which involves reduced levels of pituitary hormones in the blood following childbirth. And in this case, the pituitary gland releases less ACTH, and that affects the adrenal glands, causing it to release less aldosterone and cortisol, which leads to insufficiency symptoms. If we now take a look at the short synactin test itself, the procedure involves measuring cortisol levels before synactin administration, and then measuring cortisol at 13-60 minutes after the drug is given. And just to show this process in more detail, we have our normal axis here, and we administer synactin to the patient. Note that the name synactin actually tells its function as well. It's simply synthetic ACTH. So when it's given to the patient, the levels of ACTH in the blood should go up, and the levels of cortisol should also go up correspondingly. This is a normal test result. If we now turn towards a primary adrenal insufficiency or an Addison's disease, in this axis you can see that there's a problem with the adrenal cortex. And when we administer synactin in this case, the levels of ACTH do go up but the levels of cortisol remain low. And that's because the problem is below the level of ACTH. So administering more ACTH does not have an effect. If we compare this with a secondary cause, such as a pituitary insufficiency, here you can see that the pituitary gland is releasing less ACTH than normal. So when we administer synactin, it returns the ACTH to within normal range and the cortisol levels also go up. In other words, the short synactin test can help to differentiate between a primary adrenal insufficiency and a secondary adrenal insufficiency, depending on the cortisol values after the test. And here we have a summary table outlining the key results from the short synactin test, as well as the serum ACTH levels which would be expected. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.